All right, guys, good evening. It is Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Dale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. All right, now, this video is specifically for the 4 gig Corona for the 17544 dashboard update. I'm talking a Corona right here. This is a Corona. It's a 4 gig NAND, okay? All right. What that means is, is if you go to your original dashboard and you go to settings and you pull up storage and you will see that there, that there could be a hard drive most likely there is and then you will also see internal RAM which is two, usually around 2.9 uh, gig free alright that means it's a 4 gig NAND this is specifically for a 4 gig Corona if you have a 16 megabyte Corona you won't have an internal RAM. It may be a Corona, but it's still 16 meg, so you go by the other video that I did previously, okay? This is a supplement to that video. This is specifically for, again I say, Corona 4 gig, okay? 4 gig NAND, all right? Because people still don't get it through their heads. They go ahead, they flash a 16 meg to a 4 gig, and guess what happens? They brick it. And there I am, unscrambling the damn thing. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want anyone to brick their consoles. That's why I do this stuff. That's why I'm doing these videos at this hour of the night when I have to go to work tomorrow. Okay? Because I want to make sure everybody understands what the hell is going on. So, now, I do not have a 4 gig Corona here set up and running. Okay? As you can see, I'm working on it. All right? This dashboard update came at such a wonderful time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? It's the Rexy build, and all you got to do is just stick it on your console. Download the other, from, from the other previous video I did, download those files. It will work fine with this, okay? But you, there's a certain steps that you have to do when you're doing a 4 gig Corona. So now I'm going to tell you how to do them, and I'm going to show you. Okay, because I do have four gig NANDs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up and tell you what. Let me do this right here. Okay, that way then you're able to see, you know, that other happy nonsense. Okay, I want to make sure that you're able to see. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do, sorry about that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up XE Build. Okay, the new one. We're going to open that up. Okay, and then we're going to open up the XE Build GUI. All right, now as you can see, there it is. Okay, now, okay, we're going to click on it. As you can see, it opens up. Okay, it better. Okay, now, what you're going to do, you're going to dump your NAND like you would with Simple NAND Flasher in the previous video. You'll put it on a USB stick. Okay and then plug it into your computer. Then you're going to go to the source file, which is going to be on that USB stick, okay? But here, I've got one already set up. In fact, uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, there it is, 663605. All right, so we're going to go to a source file here, okay? Now, this is a Corona 4 gig file, okay? And we're going to open it, okay? And Dash and XE Build is going to complain because it isn't going to know what the hell is going on. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. See, and there's the error. Okay, I can't determine if it's big or small block. Do you want to continue anyway? Yes. Now, you're going to switch this here. Okay, right here. It says switch to advanced mode. Switch it. Okay, disable fail safe. Okay, then what you're going to do is over here you're going to you're going to click this open parameter argument editor prior to starting XE build python you're going to click on that okay then what you're going to do all right is you're going to go ahead and there is you know the file all right there that's 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 the NAND right there okay you'll notice that there's some red check marks okay which is cool it's okay now what we're going to do is, is we're going to grab hold of the CPU key all right so Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. Hang on here. Okay. And I'm going to grab hold of this CPU key right here. Okay. 
that's the CPU key to this NAND. So I'm going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to XE Build, and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to paste it. All right, now you notice there's still a couple of check marks that are red. Okay, that's okay. We're going to hit Corona. Okay? Now you notice the motherboard has been taken. It is taken. Now we're going to do the type. Okay? Freeboot RGH 2.0 right here. There you go. Now if you notice everything went green. Okay? Which means, hey, we're good to go. Now, I'm going to show you the really hard part. It's so hard to update one of these things. This is why kids don't want a Corona 4 gig, okay? You go, oh, I'm going to update the day. Oh, my God, it's so hard. Oh, God. I'm going to show you how hard it is, okay? All right? We're going to generate the hacked image. Now, see, so can't determine if it's big or small block, man. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Because you know why? I'm opening up the parameter file. And you see this where it says new parameter? This is how hard it is. You see where it says Corona? Well, you're going to click right there. You're going to put your cursor right after the uh, right after the A, and then what you're going to do is you're going to this is this is the so hard part. This is this is the terrible hard part. Four G. That's it. Then guess what's going to happen? You're going to save the new parameters and you're going to run XE Build Python. Guess what? Look, it built. Okay, it built. There it is. Okay? Right there. Now, everything is green. The check marks are all green. Everything is fine. Now, what you're going to do, okay, then, is you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to the output path where it built it. All right? Now, let's see if I could pull that up here. Where the hell is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay? There's your flash.bin. You're going to take that. You're going to copy that to your USB stick. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in the simple NAND flasher folder. All right, then you're going to, then once you stick it in there and you copy it like, like you did, like I showed you on the previous video, okay, the same thing. You're going to copy it over there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run simple NAND flasher. It's going to find it. And it's going to say Corona 4 gig, you know, blah, 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 right with wall rash or whatever, whatever it's going to say. Okay, all right. And then all you got to do, okay, is you write the NAND. Hit start, and guess what? You're updated. Then just follow the rest of the instructions on the previous video, and you will be up on the dashboard and correct. Okay? That's how hard it is to do a Corona 4 gig. Oh, my God. Be still my heart. Okay? Very simple. I just laid it out for you. All right? Do not do this with other consoles. Do not do this. Oh, it's only for Corona 4 gig. I'm telling you this. Because if I don't keep reiterating this, somebody is going to do it anyway, and they're going to wind up with a brick freaking console, and I'm going to sit there like, what the hell? That's why I keep repeating myself, okay? It's not that I got Tourette's Syndrome, or I'm just freaking talking out of my ass for no reason. No, I'm telling you the way it needs to be, period, okay? It was that simple. There were the steps. A monkey could follow it, okay? So please, for the love of God, follow everything I say, do everything I told you to do, and everything will be fine. If you don't, it's on you. If you skip through this video, it's on you. I don't want to hear it. I'm not responsible for what you do. The only thing I can do is show you how to do it. There it is. It's done. It's confirmed. It works. It's been like this for years, okay? So, follow the instructions. It's very simple, okay? Thank you so much. You'll have a good night. Server will be up tonight. Okay? You'll have a good one. Take it easy, guys.